2012, it was my, my first time fighting here at Chow Time, so I'm very thankful for the opportunity. Uh, my promoter, how uh, it is a promotion. Obviously, I have to thank God uh, for keeping me uh, every day doing what I do. So, I'm a professional boxer since 2007, so this is what every boxer uh, dream. Uh, fight for a world title, so this is a title eliminator. So, when, when, when I win this Saturday, so I will be the, the, the mandatory challenger. So, it's a great opportunity. Um, I have been training with Emilio Rosa since one year ago. I'm ready. Uh, I have three one in a row. Uh, what can I say? This is a great fight. Two hungry uh, fighters. Uh, we want a title shot. Our record uh, can say to you that the fight we ends in knockout. So don't miss the, this uh, matchup because it's gonna be great. There's gonna be uh, a lot of action. I can assure you uh, that because every time I step in the ring, uh, win or lose, uh, I, I will uh, let everything on, on that ring. So I'm a hard fighter I'm from Puerto Rico. So, you know, we're a warriors. So thank you. Stay tuned on Saturday and uh, blessings to, to to the other fighters. Uh, so have a good day. Thank you to Velez, and now we'll bring up his opponent. He is coming off five straight wins by stoppage. He's recently won over uh, Victor Betancourt back in August of 2019 through a knockout victory. He's still extremely young in the sport at just 25 years old. He is a rising talent and has a huge opportunity ahead of him this Saturday night to contend for a world title. He currently resides in Miami, Florida from Kurudu, Panama with 15 victories, 13 a by knockout and just one blemish. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Jaime Arboleda. He says he wants to thank the public, uh, the great champions to his left and right, uh, his promoters, his managers, the network, and um, you know this this particular fight in this event has been uh, a long time coming for him as well, and he's been preparing. Y bueno, esperemos que el día ocho todo salgamos a hacer un buen compromiso. Redador Jason Bell es un gran boxeador, muy respetado. Pero bueno, ese día vamos a hacer el trabajo para salir con la victoria. Says that on the eighth this Saturday on Showtime, um, he's very, very confident as Jason is that it's going to be a great fight, definitely by knockout. Uh, he's prepared and uh, he's confident that he's going to win. And both uh, him and Jason are great fighters, great warriors, and a lot of respect for Jason. And, and obviously, looking forward to Saturday night. Y bueno, espero que todo apoye el día 8 de febrero, este gran evento donde van a ver grandes grandes peleadores. Please support and, and tune in uh, to Showtime on Saturday night and, and support the, the, the fighters, the great champions on the on the main event and, and, uh, and it'll be a great show. Muchas gracias. And thank you very much. Both guys are looking to start off the telecast with a bang. Should be a very entertaining matchup for both of them with a lot on the line. Now we move on to our co-main on Saturday night, February 8th, live from the PPL Center here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. 
We have two former world champions battling in a 12 round championship bout for the vacant WBA bantamweight world title. On one side, you have Libodio Solis. He is the former WBA super flyweight champion, ranked number one by the WBA. He is making his United States debut. He captured the super flyweight world title back in 2013. He has lost two close decisions to Jamie McDonald for a world title back in 2016 and 2017, but he has bounced back beautifully, ripping off five straight on his current five fight win streak. He is fighting out of Panama City, Panama, by way of Monarchy, Venezuela. Coming to the podium now with 30 victories, 14 by knockout, opposite of five defeats, and one blemish. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Liborio Solis. Thank you very much uh, again to the public who's, uh, who's here and uh, present to watch the fight on Saturday. Uh, to my team, um, my trainer, my manager, my promoter, everyone who's backing me and, and supporting me. Y bueno, este, agradecer a la empresa promotora por, por la oportunidad que me está dando aquí en debutar en Estados Unidos. Y bueno, sobre mi pelea con, con Guillermo Rebondeado, todo el mundo sabe que es un gran campeón, fue un gran campeón porque es, es campeón, este, tiene una buena trayectoria, pero nosotros estamos bien preparados y venimos a la guerra. Uh, I want to thank my promoter for uh, getting me this opportunity and, and getting me here. Uh, on Showtime. Um, I'm very grateful that, for that opportunity. I also want to acknowledge my, my uh, opponent, Guillermo Reina, who's a great champion. He's been a great champion, a disputed champion, and uh, I'm very excited to be here for that. Y bueno, sobre otro tema de la pelea, este, se habla mucho en las redes, que un tome y dime, y bueno, llegó la hora. Nadie es capaz de su destino. Este, lo único que tengo para decir a Rigondeado es que Venga como él quiera, que yo lo recibo como él. Es una guerra que para cual, tanto como él como yo, tenemos nuestra estrategia. Tenemos nuestra estrategia y la que explicarla para salir con el triunfo. Lo único que le pido a Dios es que tanto como él, como yo y como todos los participantes de, de ese gran evento, vayamos por nuestros propios medios, con nuestros propios pies. Con el favor de Dios, así va a ser. Um, there's been a lot said on social media about this fight. Uh, leading up to the fight, that you know, obviously it's going to be a great fight. I'm a warrior. I come to fight. Uh, he can pick the plan that he wants to do, but I come to fight, and uh, he wishes nothing but the best for everybody in uh, Saturday night. The outcome that everyone's healthy and and uh, results are what they are. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow at the way. Thank you to Solis. He certainly has a tall task ahead of him on a Saturday night. This man is a very accomplished boxer, two-time Cuban Olympic gold medalist. Rivendell unified the 122-pound world titles. He has been a perennial member of the best pound-for-pound -pound list for years. He is extremely technical, and he has proven that he is not afraid, afraid of any challenge whatsoever. He has proven that going up two weight classes, to challenge Lomachenko, and now he's looking to become a two-division champion, dropping down to a new weight class. He is making his Showtime debut. He's got wins over top guys like Nonito Donaire, and he just recently stopped former champion Julio Ceja back in June. He is fighting out of Miami, Florida, by way of Santiago de Cuba, with 19 victories, 13 by knockout, opposite of just one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Guillermo El Chacal Rigano. Buenas, eh, buenas tardes a todos. Gracias por venir. Mi nombre es Guillermo Rigano. Bueno, y gracias a Solí que fue una gran complicación para conseguir la visa para venir y aceptar este combate. 
Y bueno, espero que ya de aquí se va a dar todo. Gracias a Dios, se lo todo va a salir bien. Thank you very much. My name is Guillermo Rigendau, and uh, I want to thank uh, you know everyone here present, uh, networks, and more importantly that the fight is actually taking place. There was some issues with his visa, and the, the fight you know was in jeopardy, and uh, everything worked out, and we're here, and he's very thankful for that. Bueno, y con respecto a, a esta división, 118 libras, es mi peso natural, que es el peso mío, que no tengo ningún tipo de problema, y gracias a Ojeim, a Luisito Yuni, que se dio esta oportunidad y todo va a ser 100%. Ya lo que queda prácticamente es 118 pounds es mi división, no tengo problemas de hacer esa weight class, estoy siempre en weight. Um, I want to thank uh, Louis de Cubas Jr. and uh, Ramon Garbe for you know the, getting me prepared and, and obviously getting me here and um, all that's left is to fight Saturday night. I want to thank also the great Ronnie Shields for giving me the opportunity to be here once again and uh, thank you very much all for being here and I'll see you Saturday night. And now we move on to our main event. And what a main event we have for you guys on Saturday night. We have two of the top guys in the featherweight division going head to head. First up with the challenger. He is a 2012 Olympic silver medalist from Mongolia. He is now trained by Ismael Salas in Las Vegas. He earned his world title shot with a unanimous decision over Claudio Morero back in January of 2019. He's had a rapid rise to the top of the division at just 27 years old. He has destroyed his opponents left and right, has a fantastic knockout rate with nine knockouts in just 11 pro fights. He is determined to become the second world champion from his home country of Mongolia and represent them proud. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, by way of Mongolia, with an undefeated record of 11 victories, including nine by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Tuxta Kintun Nayambayar. I'm sorry, I'm very really excited for this. It's going to be great, right? It's a great champion. Watch me on Saturday night. In the new night. I've had a few words, ladies and gentlemen. And now we look to the champion. Gary Russell Jr. comes from one of boxing's most accomplished families. Trained by his father, Gary Sr. and brother Gary Allen Russell III. He trains alongside his two rising unbeaten brothers, Gary Antoine Russell and Antonio Russell, who both fight on the undercard this Saturday as well. He is a 2008 U.S. Olympian, making his fifth defense of his WBC crown, which he won back in March of 2015. He is coming off a win back in May, right here on Showtime, stopping former champion Kiko Martinez, Many say he's got the fastest hands in the sport. And let me tell you folks, I've seen him in person and it's hard to argue with those people. The 31 year old is a true tactician in the ring and many have tried to dethrone the champ and all have failed. He relishes these opportunities and wants to show the world why he is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the podium from Capitol Heights, Maryland, with 30 victories, including 18 by knockout and just one blemish, the WBC featherweight champion of the world, here is Gary Russell Jr. I wish we had a translator. Somebody had a translator. Are you translating? Perfect, perfect. First and foremost, I want to thank everybody that came here. We had a hell of a training camp. I got my younger brother on the car that he just mentioned. He's ready, he's focused, he's home. You know, uh, the Mongolian people in general, as I know King Tug, he's gonna bring his physical best, he's gonna be the best he can possibly be on a Saturday night because he knows he's competing as one of the best fighters in the world. Um, he has everything to gain and nothing to lose. I know he's willing to put it all on the line. I'm gonna give y'all a little history lesson. Um, 
the Mongolian people has been known to be warriors, you know, and all through the history, you know, and they won numerous bouts, numerous, uh, they defeated numerous people, but it wasn't until they ran into some of our ancestors. They went into Egypt in the year, uh, I believe, 1260, and they competed against my ancestors. They competed against, uh, what's the guy name? Uh, what was his name? I can give you the exact number. Genghis Khan. I know you heard of Genghis Khan. They competed against Genghis Khan, and when they competed against Genghis Khan, they would be thrown. And that halted the, the full progression in Western civilization for the Mongolian people. History will definitely be repeated. Come Saturday night, we'll be ready. Okay, now how? Come on, man. Only no shot. That is our main event this Saturday night. Once again, we're going to be live on Showtime Championship Boxing, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific. Now we're going to open things up for a couple of questions for our fighters. First off, we'll start in the co-main event. Looking over to Liborio Solis. I'm sure we, if we could have our translator over here. Um, you've been a champion at Super Flyweight, in, uh, and then you've also been in three bantamweight title fights but have not been able to grab the title. Why will Saturday be different for you? Bueno, yo no he sido campeón en dos divisiones. Yo he sido campeón en una sola división. Si me van a regalar las que me robaron en Mónaco con un primer donor, que fue en un peso gallo, ahí sí sería campeón en dos divisiones. And, um... 118 pound division the fight was taken from him uh, by the scorecards otherwise he'd been a champion there too bueno eh porque el sábado va a ser diferente bueno porque tanto como Guillermo redondeado como mi persona sabemos que que los trenes están pasando y vamos a entregar alma y vida y corazón para obtener ese título Saturday will be different, obviously, because both of these uh, fighters, myself and Guillermo, uh, give heart and soul, and we're going to fight, you know, to, to the best man wins, and, and I'm giving that, uh, you know, my heart and soul, and I'm not leaving that ring without a championship. Con tanto talento, tan joven que hay ahorita en esta división, así que vamos a darlo todo para esta esta gran batalla que vamos a tener, y bueno, tanto como él como yo vamos a poner lo que no sabemos arriba del ring. Es que yo siempre hay que hacer la voluntad de levantar el amor al ganador. O si no cabe, bueno, que haya no cabe. Pero guerra es guerra y la guerra es muerte. Así que se entrego. Uh, he's coming Saturday with everything. God will determine, obviously, who's going to be the victor uh, in his eyes, in my eyes. Um, and I come to fight, I come to win. And I'm sure Guillermo is feeling the same way. And Saturday night, you'll see that, just that. That'll be the difference, the determination of the victory in this fight. Now, even though you moved up in a way, do you think you'll have an advantage in uh, being that you fought Bantamweight before and this is his first fight at Bantamweight? Mira, este, la ventaja de que se voy a tener 118 por, eh, yo y el primer año que yo me rodeo, el peso de lo de menos. Este, porque hay alguien que no con un personato. No sé por qué nunca perdió en la 18, siempre quiso perder en la 22. Pero no, no, eso no es ventaja. La ventaja está el que tenga mejor fondo, mejor entrenamiento, o mejor estrategia, o el que tenga más, más corazón de ansiedad de ganar la pelea. No, 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 um, but the, the, obviously, if the, the advantage is going to be who wants it more, who pushes harder, who, who gives it all, and that's the advantage only. And, and finally for you, Lee Borio, what would a win over a guy like Ray Val do for your career? Um, being with all the accomplishments he's had, he's, like I said, he's been a perennial member on the pound for pound list for quite some time, and defeating Ray Val would certainly bolster your career. How would, how would that do for you? ¿Qué piensa que ganando la redondeado 
eh, va a ser para tu carrera. Eh, obviamente, ya ha sido eh, un gran campeón en el 122 y, y definitivamente uno de los mejores en el mundo, libra por libra. Para tu carrera, ¿qué tú piensas que, hacía para ti, que haría para ti ganando? Bueno, mira, eh, yo soy de las personas que dicen el pasado fue ayer, el presente es ahorita y el futuro es incierto. Este, primero lo primero, primero levanté el título y después te poder responder lo que puede venir o no puede venir. Del resto, no puedo pasar por encima de alguien que todavía no haya logrado derrotar. Primero lo primero, la victoria, o primero que llegue a la pelea y después me puedes hacer esa pregunta y con mucho gusto te la puedo responder. First things first, I need to uh, obviously win the title. The past is the past, present is here, and tomorrow is uh, the future, and I can't read it. So uh, after I win the fight, ask me the question, and I can tell you, but I have no clue right now. I'm focused on this fight. Now I'm turning things over to his opponent. Uh, Guillermo, you said that you're, you feel great at the bad Point division. Now I know this is your first fight in the division, but you could have, you know, people have said you could have made 118, no problem. What will it allow you to do better at 118 pounds? Una buena realidad. Este es el verdadero peso mío, ¿entiendes? Yo he tenido todos mis resultados en esta división y ya quiso, ahora voy a pelear mi peso verdadero en esta. This uh, 100% has always been my weight. It just uh, happens that 122, I was uh, doing well, so I stayed there. But my weight has been always 118, and I'm going to dominate this division. You are working with the great Ronnie Shields. What has Ronnie Shields been able to do for you, um, for your career, and how has he helped you um, at this stage? Que ha ayudado Ronnie trabajando contigo en esta actitud de tu carrera. ¿Y qué piensas que que esta va a ser diferente? Bueno, prácticamente no es la primera vez que he trabajado con, con Ronnie. Me hemos trabajado varias peleas y ya, ya estamos adaptados ya a la química. Él sabe lo que yo necesito y es lo que, y es lo que hacemos, lo que yo necesito para ganar cada pelea. Ese, ese es el plan que trabajamos nosotros. Ronnie's a great tactician like myself, and, and, and it's not our first fight together. We have several fights together. He knows me well. I, I know him well. I like our chemistry together. And it's going to be a great, exciting, uh, you know, uh, history between us, and I look forward to a long one. Now you've accomplished the 122 pound division, <coughs> unified the titles. Now you're looking to become a, a champion in the 118 pound division. What would becoming a world champion at 118 pounds do for your legacy? En el 122 libre dominaste, fuiste el máximo en esta división, unificaste todos los títulos. ¿Qué significa en el 118 ganar el título en esta división para tu bueno, es algo histórico, que es realmente el peso mío que he hecho hoy. Y lo voy a ganar ahí junto con mi dona de la olímpica. He says it's, it's, it's going to be a great thing, uh, phenomenal. Uh, his true weight is 118 pounds, and he's going to unify this division and, and be glorious as it was in 122. And uh, there's no question about it, and he's excited to do it. Thank you, Guillermo. Now we'll turn our questions over to our main event. Um, first off, starting with uh, King Tuck, with so few pro fights, um, how do you make up for your lack of experience in a fight like this? I'm ready for this question. Uh, it's so good. Yeah. <coughs> Last year, obviously, and even at the beginning of this year, uh, the underdogs have been successful so so far. We've seen a lot of upsets in the sport of boxing. Do you enjoy playing the underdog role? <laughs> he knows he's an underdog, so um, it doesn't really matter. It's driven on underdog. Now you have been out of action for 13 months. Do you feel like there will be any ring rust coming into this fight uh, of this magnitude against a guy like Gary Russell Jr.? No, yeah, it's okay. I've been dating with this guy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then also, finally, um, you're representing your home country of Mongolia. And you're looking to become the second world champion from your home country. What would that mean for you? It's 
So okay, let me just get up. Tell you. We, we 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 already discussed my own. So it's, he's uh, he's waiting for this fight. So it's the first Mongolian WBC featherweight champion in history of Mongolian pro boxing. So he's very excited for this. So he's ready. So just go watch him talk. And now looking at you, uh, uh, Gary, um, you face all sorts of challengers. Uh, what do you make of Tug as a challenger, and how does he stand out from other guys that you faced in the past? I think I think he's definitely a lot more technically sound than a lot of the other competitors that I can feel against. Um, like I say, I've been competing with all these guys that has everything to gain and nothing to lose. Uh, if it was up to me, it, it came to it would be a Javante Tank Davis or Leo Santa Cruz or one of these guys right now. Um, this is what we have to deal with. Like I said, this is what definitely repeat itself so come Saturday night. Now, Saturday night certainly isn't the first night that you're just sharing the stage again with your brothers, Gary Antoine and Antonio. Um, how does it feel for you to share the stage with them and as they continue their rise in their own career and hopefully one day look to be in your position, headlining the card as a world champion? Oh man, it's amazing. It's amazing to never to watch my younger brothers to be able to be on the same card, for me to actually be able to work the corner with them. Um, it's, it's great, you know, I think it's never been a set of three brothers to become world champion. I think that would be real sweet. You know, I think the odds are definitely in our favor, both of my younger brothers are extremely talented, they're extremely driven, and they're hungry. You know, um, I think they're going to bring everything they need to work on. The dynasty is information that's been passed down from generation to generation. Um, hopefully, by the time my younger brothers get to the point that I am in my career, I expect them to be better than I am. I expect them to excel where I am. I expect them to be much further than where I am. So, hopefully, he can make it happen. What does it mean for you to be fighting here on Showtime again? I mean, they've been super supportive of you so far throughout your career. Oh, yeah, man. You know, it's cool. I, I think I was the first boxer that, you know, I, I was that competed on Showtime. Well, I, I was great. Yeah. I was that did my pro debut on Showtime. I was the first box that drew it. Uh, I think that's real cool. And the fact that we're still doing it right now, it, it speaks wonders. Um, I'm wrong to grow accustomed to the team members of Showtime. You know, they've been very well and helpful. And we got somewhat of a little, little unique situation going on. You know, so I'm grateful. Now, not overlooking that Nayam Bayar, he's extremely tough, but with a win on Saturday, is there anyone you have your eyes set on uh, next? Uh, definitely. Like I said, I would love to be on Santa Cruz fight. I won the Javante Tank Davis. So I, I, I actually plan on moving and jumping 130 and going directly to 135. Um, the only reason why I was going to compete at 130 was because Tevin Farmer recently mentioned my name and said he wanted to compete against me. I'm a real fighter. I'm a real champion. You know, I'll answer the call to anyone that wants to compete against me. Um, unfortunately, he lost to Jojo Diaz, a tough competitor, someone that I competed against before. Um, I take my hat off to Jojo, he's a world champion now. But uh, I would dip those are the guys that I want. If I can't get them, I don't know who will not. They have a hand at 135, until Fimo Lopez is at 135, and whoever else is up there is willing to fight. Let's make these fights happen. What can fans expect from the main event and from you personally, Gary Russell Jr.? expect to see what you always say. You know, uh, boxing at its best, uh, a great deal of ring generalship, good boxing IQ, hand speed, punching power, you know, the total package of the fight. I got the fact, matter of fact, I'm trying to figure out why I'm not going to count for pound it, but if you had any, that's an issue. I'm not an issue with that, so um, that's what we just got to expect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank our fighters. Now we're going to uh, that does it for the Q&A portion. Now we're going to have a face-off, so we're going to try to get this podium out of the way. And